Okay, folks, look, I'm back at it again with another slow cooker recipe, right? Today, we're doing a beef ragu, and check it out. We're gonna be using my crock pot. Let's get it. All right, so look, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little room right here so that I can work, right? Now, don't forget, the full ingredient list will be on my website. That's smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com, right? So, I'm gonna put this down, and I'm gonna show you guys something in just one second when it comes to my cast iron. I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now. If you look right now, look, I got a small cast iron. But because I'm gonna be taking this and putting this up and just browning, that's okay. If you guys look right here, listen, I'm re-seasoning my cast irons right now because I had somebody help me come and clean up the kitchen and they started soaking everything and all of that. So I'm doing a redo. I don't wanna like mess them up because I got about four more times to do it and then we'll go from there. Okay, so listen, I'm heating up my cast iron skillet, right? Let me just see, no, we haven't got no, look, just got like a medium flame, put a little bit of olive oil in here. This is infused olive oil, by the way, right? I can hear it is starting to pop. So what I'm gonna do now is, let me go ahead and get my pepper and my salt. Cause what I wanna do is I wanna brown, brown it, right? So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this here on the top. Now this is a large piece of beef, right? Chuck roast, this was uh, three pounds, 3.01 pounds to be exact, right? So we just cut it like this, like that. Just move this around, got it? And then what we're gonna do is just probably put two pieces in at a time. Put that there and this one right here. Once it's ready, look, you see it releases itself. It'll move on its own. So we look at the bottom of there and there we go, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up like this, right? We do the same over here with this one and I leave it like that. Reason being, I wanna get browning on all of it. So let me just show you how it looks. Then you kinda like just push it down. All we doing is searing, folks. Got it brown, all sides. Oh yeah. Now what I'm doing is I'm just taking it out right now. Just set it to the side. That one right there look good. Look at that. This is more on the fatty side when you see it look like that. All right, I can just take it out. You guys tell me you're not gonna want none of this. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. We using chuck roast, right? We gonna have to put some time on it. The reason being, this is like almost like cooking a tire. But after we come out of this slow cooker and this thing tastes, you know, gets it nice and soft, Ooh, my goodness, look at that. All right, so I'm just gonna set this right here. Now I turn my fire off just so it can cool down just a little bit. What I wanna do is I wanna prep my veggies, right? So we are gonna have veggies down on the bottom. So let me get these, these already have been washed and cleaned. You know what I mean? Let me just cut my ends. All right, and we take it here. All right, so I'll just cut these down in half. These are not like super wide, like, you know, sometime when you get to celery. This is really actually a organic celery that I'm using. Not that it makes a difference. I mean, for those of you guys that want to do the organic, you can. All right, so we have it here. Now I'm going to get it all together, get it all lined up, and then we're going to just give it a, a dice, right? All right, so look, I went ahead. Obviously, I did my celery. I did some of the uh, carrots. I'm not doing them too small because I don't want them to disintegrate over the time, right? Like I said, we're using this slow cooker and I'm gonna be doing it for at least six hours, right? And it's gonna be six hours on high because we gotta get this meat to get, you know, to get soft, right? So we got garlic, I already did my onion, we got that going. So now we're gonna use this right here, this the fine and everything in here, that's the flavor, folks. Now listen, we finna soften, we gonna get them just really like barely saucing, softened and a little bit on that translucent side. Then we gonna take that, put it inside and then the meat on top. Okay, so once you got everything prepped and cooked, I mean, you know, cut down, right? Let me move this off the way. Now, I can see this and we just reaching that, you know, smoke point. So now we wanna just, I'm gonna start with my onion first. So I'll just move this around, let it pick up any of the flavor, right? Like I said, we just give that a head start, and now I'll come with my, the rest of the veggies. All right, now we just wanna cook this down just so they soften up just a little bit, and they on their way to becoming translucent. So now we're gonna go ahead and load up our garlic press, right? So I'll just squeeze it, and we'll put this right here on the top. All right, so now we'll go ahead and give this, you know, a mix, let this become fragrant, let some of that heat get on it. And once it start dispersing this flavor, it'll put it throughout. Now, remember all of the fine that you saw at the bottom? Let me just move this back like this. Look at that, everything comes up. That's the acidity that's in the side of the onions. Now it's back to smooth, 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Open up my top. Right. Now we're gonna add this into our crock pot. All right, so now once we got our veggies in there and that's all sauteed, right? So I'm getting ready to add, you know, my paste. Then we come with our crushed tomatoes, beef broth. Then we're gonna need about a cup, you know, of our red wine, right? This is our cooking wine. Now I'm gonna give this a mix and get this, you know, thoroughly mixed together. Now, for those of you guys who don't wanna use that, you know, the red cooking wine, you know, for whatever reason, you gotta trust the process, folks. It cooks all of that wine taste out of there, you know, and leaves a residue that just, that's unbelievable, right? But if you don't wanna use that, you can use, you know, beef broth. Now we're gonna do about a half a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more, you know what I mean? of my dry herbs. Don't forget the full ingredient list along with the instruction, instructions are on my website and don't forget they printable folks. And then you remember our meat? We're gonna go ahead and just set this back in there. Now we hit power, we go with high and now we wanna set this for six hours, right? So four, four, and I mean five, five and a half, that's six, now we hit start. Okay, folks, so let's go ahead and look at it. Remember, okay, so it had already switched over to warm, but I never take my top off of that, off of my crock pots or slow cookers or whatever you guys are using. Listen, it's designed for you to leave it on. I know we like to take it off, you know, smell it, look at it, stir it up and all of that. But listen, when you open it up, I can tell you this, you can add yourself another 30 minutes on to each time you go ahead and open it up. Now, I'm getting ready to take myself, you know, two forks and we're gonna shred. This been working, look, this just falls apart, right? You see that right there? That's what you wanna have. Now, you're gonna have a little grease on the top. I'm gonna give you guys a little heads up. You see this right here? Let me show you what you do. Now I take some paper towels and what I do is I just put it on the top. You can see the oil and the grease is right here on the top, right? So I just put this on here like that and just let it do its thing. The paper towels will do all of the work. I'm probably gonna do this a couple of times. This will get a lot of that residual fat and grease up off the top. You see that right there? That took a lot of that off at the top, right? So throw that in the trash. Now I'm gonna do one more and then we're getting ready to shred. After you can see, took a lot off at the top, right? So now we wanna shred. You can run through here. You wanna try to find yourself the, uh, the bay leaves. But as I'm rolling this over, look, if I just try to hold this, you can see it just wants to shred. I mean, Chuck, it just needs a little bit of time, but it's so flavorful. You know what I mean? Once you cook it down, I always make a joke and say it's like having a, uh, a rubber tire. You got to cook it so you can chew it. But I promise you, though, once you do what you're supposed to with it, and it comes out so flavorful and good. Look at this right here. Okay, so I shred it. I just want to show you this. When you shred them and it is cooked just right, look at this right here. That's what you got. That is a proper shred. You see that? Not a bunch of little chunky strings or nothing like that. This is what we want to have. Enough where I can take this ladle and put it on top. But now I want you guys to pay attention and look at this noodle right here. Look, these are pronounced pappardelle, right? And it's a little bit of a different, you know, pasta noodle that we normally use, but this is what we do. And I want you guys to read the instructions on your box, because I guess it depends on the brand. But these right here are usually ready between five and six minutes, right? This is it right here. We make them to the instructions on the, uh, on the box. And I got it like this. Some of you guys are gonna wanna, and I ain't gonna lie to you, after I finish this video, I'm finna pour the rest of all the, you know, my noodles and everything inside this because I like mine the next day, right? But for this right here in this presentation, if you came to the restaurant, this is how you would have it, right? So I go ahead and get myself some. I get it right over the top. Let me bring it down there so you guys can see it. Mm. I know folks, it just ain't fair. You know what I mean? The crock pot did all the work, so you guys gotta let me know why you are not running to the store to get these ingredients. You know what I mean? Uh, keep the chuck, you know what I mean? Put that in there, let the uh, slow cooker or your crock pot do all of the work and you'll come up with something like that. Now I'm gonna set this off to the side and I'm gonna put a little green on it to make these pictures pop. That's how you guys got here, but now you know how I did it in real time. Now hold on. 
Okay, folks, so there you see it. Now, I sprinkled a little parm on there, but I wanted to show you. I have a little parmesan. You guys can take it and just add this onto this. It'll make it a little bit more thicker, make it a little fuller, and bring a nice little taste to it, right? So all I got to do is, like, you know, stir that up. But I can't wait to get down and get me a piece of this with this right here. You know what I mean? We just do it like that, just for the sake of argument. And guess what, folks? Cheers, y'all. All right, folks, being 100 with you, this is great to put out dinner. This is like raises it up. Just when you catch the aromatic that comes up off of it, that tell you, hey, we having something high in tonight. But we all know we took that chuck roast, which is like that, uh, that, that bottom type of meat, you know what I mean? And we made something, you know, ooh wee with it. Now I'm gonna give you guys a, a bone. You know what, could have made this with short ribs. You know what I mean? But listen, we made this because this was like budget friendly, believe it or not. So with that being said, talk to me down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys would do. What would you serve this with? How would you do it? I told you I'm going to take my noodles, put it in there, put it in the refrigerator. And it's going to be even better tomorrow. Now, with that being said, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And I'm out, folks. Peace.